Hey folks, thanks for joining me. Um, talking about the Kingdom of God, uh, really, because I find it terribly exciting and I want you to share in my excitement. Uh, the, the first sort of thing I'd th start us looking and thinking about this is to say, well, what, what, what in my experience most people think the Kingdom of God is, and, and it's that, that's not easy to determine because it's not a thing that's spoken about much. Uh, today but happily increasingly uh, throughout Christianity people are talking more and more about the kingdom of God and I find that personally exciting and and so keep your ears open for it guys girls um, the 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 interesting thing that that I want to tell you really in this particular little clip is that uh, the kingdom is is viewed by an awful lot of people in my uh, inquiries, uh, being something that we're going to go uh, with any luck and a following wind <laughs> uh, when we die. Uh, in fact, they think it's heaven is, is that answer. The second thing that I come across quite a lot is, is people saying, well, I don't need to know any more about the kingdom of God. I am in the kingdom of God now. I am a Christian and that's how I spend my life. So that's it. You know, which is maybe true, but it's only a very small part of of the whole, which uh, we're going to get blog about more and more, I hope. And then the third lot, which is probably the majority of people, of Christians, don't even think about it. Um, we, we're thinking, oh, I don't know. we pray your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven every so often, every Sunday or whatever. And... Uh, we don't know what the kingdom of God is, but if it's coming from heaven, then it must be an awful lot better than this mess we have to live through now. So uh, why don't we pray for it? That's actually fine. So I give you, uh, uh, to start with, I just give you our definition. By our, I mean, of course, the Order of Jacob as well, uh, who I work for. They're, they're known to our friends all over the world as OJW. And the Kingdom of God we define uh, awfully simply as simply being anywhere. The Kingdom of God exists anywhere where what God wants gets done. Uh, even that is a pile of thought behind that and a pile of experience and a pile of teaching and, and studying of the scriptures. The kingdom of God is where what God wants gets done. And once we get ourselves into a position where we're actually walking uh, around life, knowing uh, what God wants from us and doing what God wants from us, um, I mean, what he wants, not what we think he might want, but what he actually does want, uh, and we're sure about that, then the kingdom of God breaks out around us. So so stay with this, folks, and keep interested and excited by it, because I'm hoping through these blogs to pass on to you uh, an awful lot of teaching that's gone over 20-odd years uh, into studying the kingdom of God and how to walk in it uh, and how to lead a, a miraculous life uh, in in the grace of God. So bless you to subscribe to this uh, um, account, and, and then you'll know every time I shove something up about the kingdom of God, you can sit back and you can enjoy that as well. Bless you. Bye.